Okay, in this video, I'm just gonna finish off the template. I mean, there's just small extra things that uh, I would advise you doing just for those extra marks uh, in terms of consistency, in terms of design look, and uh, um, and also accessibility features. I mean, as it is, you could just use this template to make your other pages, but it's a little boring, it's missing something. So I'm gonna show you a few small things. First things first, I'm gonna just highlight these here, right click inside, and merge them. Okay, nice and simple. I'm also going to um, click on the edge of this table and go to the align section here. Click on default, go to center. So puts it, hopefully, should center it for you. There we go. And save. Let's just see what that looks like so far. Okay, I zoom out. Can you see it's in the center of the page? Perfect. Whereas the previous one is on the left hand side. If I refresh that, it goes to the center. Perfect. So, next thing we need to do is add in some color, basically. Um, and I think it would be better to have gray at the bottom and maybe having this color here in the middle. So, we're going to go inside there, go to the background, and we're just going to type, oh, just click here. I'll just copy it in. Um, but you'll see it's not it's not exactly the same. So, I'm just going to type it in, actually. Um, it doesn't let me type it in. Might be just easier. No, actually. Yeah, there is. There we go. That's where we type it in. Hashtag. And I want to go for um, CCCC33. Enter. There we go. And the colors in there now. And here, I'm going to go for hashtag 3333333. Enter. And the colors in there now. Just completes it a little bit more. If I press save and then test that out. Just looks a bit nicer now before you carry on you have to make a decision you need to decide whether you want to have this border around it or not and in the center now, if you don't it's a simple case of going into your template here we are click on the table itself anywhere you like where's this border delete it put zero press enter and you'll see you've got a, you've got a dotted line in there now so if you press save and you go back to testing it refresh the page you'll see it's nice and clean you don't see anything on the edges itself okay um, and that's it basically uh, one other thing how could we use this here now for accessibility features it'd be great if you could put the three main pages down here at the bottom as text links um, now I'm not going to do the hyperlinks just yet because you have to create the pages before you can link them but we can always put the text in just to save some time so all we got to do is go inside and just type in the the font uh, so the the text that you need first things first I want to make it so uh, let's create a new CSS style so styles I'm gonna create a new one so what I did was right click inside CSS styles new and we're gonna call, I'm gonna call this footer text so then I know that this is the style that I'm going for for the footer press OK and we're gonna go for Rockwell, if we can find it. Oh, I press, I pressed the um, enter by accident. Need to go in there again. Footer edit rule. There we go. So make sure it is. Let's see if it's there. I mean, it may not actually be here because you don't always have every single font style. No, they, they, they don't have it uh, unless it's in here. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't look like it is available. Now, it's obviously great if you could find it as close to the original font. Uh, but since it's not here, I'm just going to keep it simple and find uh, something that looks close to it as possible. So maybe Times New Roman. Um, yeah, let's go for that one. There we go. Font size, we're going to keep it as a... 12 font weight, we can keep it normal and the color. Um, I'm going to go for hashtag oop, clicking it wrong cc cc uh, three no six 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 six. There we go. Okay, okay, might be easier just to go here and choose it from there. Apply, press OK. Now if I go in here, click center, 
you'll see all the font details are here the background's grey obviously um, with that code 12 times New Roman and it's got that color so if I type in the name now home page you can see it's very very small so we can afford to make this larger so perhaps go in here edit the rule maybe just go in here and just change it to a 16 apply press OK and actually saying that oops, press help instead uh, saying that I'm also zoomed out so that you know if you have to bear that in mind as well it might look a little bit smaller than it actually is uh, depending on how far you are zoomed out so I'm gonna press OK for now and zoom to a hundred percent just to see what it actually looks like and then type in the text now that's okay so I'm going to say home page dash space dash web design page space dash space design trends page there we go so we got the three main pages there and this is particularly useful for people who may have um, you know visual impairments and they have the software that reads text and, and some software cannot read the images but they can read the text underneath it so if the hyperlinks are there as well it just gives you the extra um, point in the exam itself I'm still not happy with the text size itself so I'm just gonna I'm gonna save it but I'm gonna go to the edit rule and change it from here maybe make it an 18 apply press OK and it goes it goes up so you can see it does look a lot better there uh, and once you're happy again just give it a test make sure it looks good and you're allowed to do this yes I'm gonna save it and once you're happy with the template itself we can move on to the next video yep so I'm happy with that and in the next video we're going to be looking to use this to create our pages.